Well done kids. So you've solved the sample paper. I'm going to give you a few more practice questions on identifying three digit number which is a big popular choice in this section. So let's go and look at our questions. Now I'm looking at the first question which says get the three digit number from the below options which has these conditions. Now three digits so let me write my three digits which are hundreds, tens and ones. Okay. All right. A digit at tens place that is here. Let me just switch to another color for ease of explanation. A digit at tens place is two more than the digit at ones place. So here I do a plus two. So digit of this is what equals tens place. So let's look at the option. Is four two more than two? Yes. Here is four two more than one? No. Is 5 2 more than 3? Yes. So it is a correct option. Is 3 2 more than 1? Yes. So option 1 is correct for A, C and D but not for B. So we can just strike out this option. We are left with A, C and D. Now let's look at the second option which says again I am switching my color. Okay. Which says digit at hundreds place is five times the digit in ones place. So digit in hundreds place is how much? Five times. Okay. Five times the digit in ones place. So let's see. Is eight? Is it is two five times? Is it eight? Is two time is five times two is that eight? Sorry for the fumble. No, it's not. So we can cancel this option. This is already cancelled. Let's look here. Is three times five equal to six? No, it's not. So this also doesn't hold good. Let's look here. Is five times one or one time five equal to five? Yes, it is. So our correct answer, we have found it here. I'm just switching my colors kids is option number D where 531 holds good for both of these options. Correct? Ah, still not so confident. Okay. Let's look at the second question. Okay, now why don't you give it a try? Okay, now let's read it together. Guess the three digit number from the below options where Aha, uh -huh. before reading where, let me get to my hundreds, tens, ones to picture my digits, okay? Digit at ones place, again I'm switching the colors, bear with me. Okay, digit at ones place is three more than digit at tens place. So digit at ones place, here I am, is three more. So ones place is three more than digit at tens place. So ten is the smaller one and ones is the greater one. So now ones is three more. Let's read. Is six three more than three? Yes, it is. So the option holds good for A. Is seven three more than four? Yes, it is. Four, five, six, five, six, seven. So it holds good. Is five three more than two? Yes, it is. 2, 3, 4, 5. So it holds good. Is 1, 4, 3 more than 1? Yes, it is. Oh my god. All the four options hold good for number first. One uh, which is given. Now let's look at the second bullet point which says digit at hundreds place. Uh, before that, let me just switch my color. I'm changing colors. Well, okay. Let's read. Now digit at hundreds place is four times. So hundreds digit at hundreds place. Now uh, this is four times the digit in tens place. So how much times it is? Four times. So which is the greater digit here? Hundreds is four times the digit. So hundred is the greater one and the tens place one is the lesser one. So now hundreds is four times. Let's see. 3. 
is 3 times 4 equal to 9? No. So cancel the option. Is 4 times 4 equal to 1? Uh uh. Wrong. Cancel the option. This you can simply eliminate because the hundreds is lesser, but we need hundreds to be greater than tens place. Okay, this one is a valid option. Now, 8. Okay, 8 is greater. Now, is 2 times 4? Is it 4 times greater than tens place? Let's see. Is 2 times 4 equal to what? 2 times or 4 times 2, I would read. Equal to 8. Oh, wow. So, it holds good. The second option holds good for this. Option C. Which, very good. Let's see the third one. Is 4. So, hundreds and tens. Now, 4 and 1. So, is 4 greater of or, or 1 times 4 times 1? Is it equal to 4? It is. So, we have two options here. C and D. So, see kids, we found two answers here. Now, in your question, there will be just one correct answer. But I just gave you this sample so that you are able to understand that which is the correct answer whoa well done kids with the questions so i think you're getting hang of the achiever section what did i hear some more practice for the guess three digit number okay i do have some questions prepared for you so let's look at them and let's see if you can solve them okay so time for some more practice questions on our achiever section that is the three digit number that we promised so let's look at question number three. What does it say? Guess the three digit number from the below option which has these two conditions true. So let's first write our three digit number that is hundreds, my tens and my ones. I'm writing it so that I'm able to pictureize the number. Okay. All right. So what does it say? The digit at tens place, let me put a pointer here, is greater than digit at ones place by one. That means ones place digit plus one will give us tens place. Okay. Let's look at the first option. So we should get two ticks to uh, have that answer qualify as the right answer. So let's look at the first one when looking at the tens place. Is it greater than 1's place? Yes, it is. Is it greater by 1? So, four, 5 is greater by 1. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. That's why it's greater by 4 by 1. So, the first condition is true. Let's look at this 10's place. 1. Is it greater uh, than the 1's place? No, it's not. So, let's cancel this option. How about C? Where 4. 4 is greater than 3 by 1. It is. So, our first condition is satisfied here. And it's 5. 5 is greater than 3, but 5 minus 3 is it 1? No, it is 2. So it is greater by 2 units. So not this option as well. Now, uh, let me do my questions. Now I'm looking at the second option. My first option is done, and this is my second option. Digit at hundreds place. So which is my hundreds place here? Okay, I'm looking at this hundred. Digit at hundreds place equals to the sum of tens place plus ones place. So hundreds place digit is equal to the tens place digit plus ones place digit. Okay, let's see if it holds good. That means this should be equal to this plus this. So is 6 equal to 5 plus 4? It's not. It's 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay. Now let's look at this hundreds place. Is 7 equal to 4 plus 3? 4 plus 3 is 7. So this is the right option. So we found our right answer in option C. You who that's a good one. Now do you want to do another one? Okay, let's go to question number 4. What does question number 4 say? Let me just clear this to clear out any mess that you are going to make again. Okay. So let me see what does now, what does my question for say? Guess the three digit number from the below options and which should val validate these two conditions. So first I am doing my 100, 10, 1 so that I can picturize the number. 
Okay, let's go. Let's read the first option. Digit at hundreds place is equal to three times the digit at tens place. So hundreds place is equal to three times the digit in tens place. So this that means hundreds place is greater than the digit in tens place. So let's see. Is this hundred greater than tens? It is. Is this hundred greater than tens? It's not. So we'll just eliminate it here. Is this hundred greater than tens? It is. Is this hundred greater than tens? It is. So all of these three have the hundreds greater than tens. Now is the hundred three times that of the tens digit? So is nine three times three? It is. Three times three is nine. So first condition is met. How about this? Is three times six equal to the hundreds digit? It's not. Three times six is eighteen, and we have nine here. So let's eliminate this. How about this? Is three equal to three times the tens digit? That is three times one. Yes, three times one is three. So we get our first condition true for A and B. Let's see the second option. Second option says digit at tens place. Ah, uh, before that, time to change the color. Okay, digit at tens place, which is this. Let me just clear the previous ones that we had. Okay, now digit at tens place is three times. So three times the digit in ones place. Okay, so that means the tens is greater than the ones by three times. Correct. Now, so I'll just write O N because otherwise it feels like zero. So let's see this. Now, what is the tens place here? Three. So is it three times the ones place that is one? It is because three times one is three. Our second option is this. What is the tens place here? One. So oh, but this is one and this is three. So tens is not greater than the ones. So we can eliminate this option. And we find our right option in option A. Good, well done. Now for the third question in this practice set of questions. Shall we start? We shall. Which is my position of hundred, tens, and ones. Now what does it say? The first condition is digit at tens place. Tens place. Is equal to, and this is equal to five times the digit at hundreds place. Oh, so which is greater? Tens is greater because it is five times that in hundreds place. So let's see, digit at tens place is equal to five times of this. So five times of hundreds place is two. But that is ten. But that is not equal to five, so does not satisfy. So eliminate. Let's look at this. Digit at tens place is five. Is five times hundreds place that is one equal to five? It is. So then five times this tens is equal to the hundreds place digit. So five times one. Okay, is equal to because it is five times right. Is equal to five, so it is holds good. How about this one? So five times of this hundreds place, five times of hundreds place is two, which is ten. Oh no, it does not hold good, so I eliminate. Besides, hundreds is supposed to be smaller than tens, which is not the case here. Correct? Which is not the case here. Now for option D. Now tens place, which is five, is five times the hundreds place one. Five times one is five, so it holds good. Okay. Look at the other condition, which is condition number two, which says digit at ones place. Let me rub this or erase this so that it's clearer. Okay. So what does it say? Digit at ones place. Is equal to two times the digit in hundreds place. That means 
ones place is greater than the digit in hundreds place is it and it is two times also so it's double so let's look at this let me just erase so that there's no confusion at the ones that we are looking we are looking at only b and d okay so start now digit at hundreds place times 2 so 1 time 2 should be equal to digit at ones place it is because 1 times 2 is 2 correct 1 time 2 is equal to 2 so it is correct let's look here now digit at ones place is equal to 2 times the digit in hundreds place so 2 times the digit in hundreds place which is 1 This is equal to two, but this two is not in ones place, so it does not satisfy. So our correct answer is option B. Wow! Well done, kids. So that was the achiever section for second graders. We will do more of such problem solving. For more of such sample papers for the maths for second graders, prepare well. Remember to watch these videos regularly to bring up the tactics and your tricks by which you can get the right answers. Okay, so till we meet again, take care.